So we got to recognize that all the abundance that's available to us, which is based on the premise that we are creating our own reality. If you're drawing a picture and you got to draw yourself in it, why would you draw yourself stuck in the picture? A lack of faith that you have that leads to a lack of vision and lack of vision will pose these very reasonable questions to you. Like, what about this? I can't find a job that I resonate with. That's also bullshit. What do you mean? In my opinion, the swiftest way to deal with this is up your alignment to your truest intention. Because this is an issue of self-doubt. It's not an issue of practicalities or inabilities. To feel it out for yourself, what the timing of it is, what's relevant. Um, but no matter what, you can practice faith now before you quit your job. And when you mm -hmm. practice faith, sometimes you use the example of like, you know, don't, don't jump off a building if you don't really believe you can fly. Because someone said you should be able to believe that you can fly. Uh, your belief system is not going to support you. You're going to crash and fall. So it's like that. You do have to have enough faith to carry yourself through the transition phase, especially. Because it's easy enough to say, to have an inspiring moment. Maybe you watch uh, an inspiring video or something or someone that talks about this topic. And you're lit up for like 30 minutes. And in those 30 minutes, you're canceling your job, your relationship. You realize you don't need any money to survive. You trust in the universe. You fuck tying my camel. I don't have to tie my camel. But then when the transitionary elements come into play, yeah, the logistics of the things that appear, the self-appearances, the self-appearances, the transitions, then can you maintain that level of faith? Can you continue to stay above the clouds of doubt? You can quit your job right now and something will show up for sure because your belief system will support that transition. But if you, if you go like, yeah, I got this. Okay, resignation. And then you go like, oh, fuck, I should have never done that. Ba -da -da -da, and you're negative again and you're not maintaining faith. You don't believe in the universe, in yourself, that you're creating your reality, that something shows up for you always. If you don't believe in that higher trajectory, uh, you're going to recreate, but now from a deconstructed structure, you're going to try to sort of scramble together what you can, and it's not going to be very pleasant. So it's important that you do align to the universe. Now, granted, it will help you a little bit. It will support you if you do make a choice like that, that is bold, because God does favor the bold. You will be supported in that. Even if you start doubting, it typically won't just like, rip everything away from you because you couldn't maintain perfect faith. There is leeway there. There is slack there. But at the end of the day, it is your belief system that will determine the reality you experience. And the creator, no matter how gracious it will be for a while, it cannot go against your free will. So if you insist that you're unworthy of finding an amazing job or an amazing way to live or an amazingly abundant coaching practice, if that's your truest, highest desire, if you insist that you're not worthy of that, that you cannot do that for whatever reason you think is true, then even the creator himself cannot oppose your free will. It wants to. It would love, to, it would love to take care of everything for you, but it cannot if you don't let it. So sometimes I say give everything to God. Give all your problems yeah. to God, everything. If you can do that, you can attain a high level of faith and you can allow the creator's grace to just show up moment to moment to moment without any or hardly any insistence upon your part. Insistence upon this can't be, insistence upon it should be this way, insistence upon it can only come through those avenues, insistence upon I really want this and nothing else. You know, but you can, in that openness, you can allow the grace to really present you with the highest options available to you. And the vision can return of what's possible you can start seeing in terms of possibilities and third level creations instead of only this or that what is the third unseen option always what's the third unseen option if reality a or choice a and choice b both don't feel ideal don't choose either up your faith until you see the perfect combination of both realities included in a single choice and it will come to you if you up your faith levels but if you stay sort of lingering in the murky little thought paradigm that you've created for yourself, which you may not even see as negative, because compared to a lot of other people, it might be very bright and positive and sweet and kind and nice and loyal. Da, da, da. But compared to your creator, it's a pile of fucking shit. You limit yeah. yourself. 
I don't care how spiritual you are and how much your friends admire you for everything you're able to do and create. It's compared to what's possible. Um, but, mm. you, but we don't grant ourselves full access to infinite vision. We just don't believe it's possible or something. We're just, we have this allegiance to, to low-level vibratory thought forms. And somehow it pleases us. Somehow it seems real. Somehow it, boop. But when we up our faith levels and we give everything back to God and we trust, the grace comes in, it cleanses our vision. We are able to see parallel realities, multiple possibilities in any scenario, view it from all possible angles, humanly possible or non-humanly possible, and proceed from that level of clarity. And with that accelerated passion and faith and power, that's possible. Yeah. Your, the highest vision for you is the vision that the creator has for you. So if you give it all up to the yeah. creator and you trust in that highest self, then you will see it. You will be it. You will get the whispers. You will know what to do, when to do it more and more clearly every day. You just got to be open, be receptive, be attuned to the highest possibility yeah. and not to what other people say, not to what you've conditioned to believe, not to how things have worked in the past. You got to go nonlinear, like a rocket ship, escape the stratosphere of limitation and marvel in the infinite space of possibilities. You want to learn to catch yourself when you start like, hmm. And you want to somehow snap out of it. Go for a walk, put on another session, remind yourself, give that back to God as well. Whatever technique or permission slip you want to use, use it in the moment that you feel yourself start doubting. And because literally that's you in process of recreating, redrawing the same limitations around your character but you're drawing it, but you don't catch yourself enough. And so therefore you only notice it once you've drawn the whole structure. And now you're like, I'm stuck, which is not true. You drew it. So you want to catch yourself as soon as you start drawing, dancing, low vibes. And you might still find yourself going through the motions of getting an exciting idea and taking action on it, but it will feel very natural. It's not contrived. Like I need to create my vision board. Nothing wrong with that either, but yeah. In the surrender, all that is available to you. Whatever works for you, whatever permission slip. If God is too vague, if source is too abstract, give it to something that represents something close to that for you and just hand it off. 